Hey everyone, how's it going? I am Zerikon and I am back once again. Today is a special video and that's brought to you all actually. Because of you, this wouldn't be possible. It's a special video that will bypass a lot of what I talked about yesterday and I actually need to give shout outs here because if it wasn't for you all, this wouldn't be possible. So, secret account, David Stinnett, JM Pork Bob, especially you JM because you were the one who told me that I could bypass all of the prereqs for making your own rom so because of that thank you very much so everything for the most part we're gonna be starting just at like setting it up and then we're good to go and so oh also quick disclaimer this is a mistake that i actually made you'll want to have the debug rom and make sure it's not master quest so if you have ocarina of time master quest rom you'll have problems like that's something that i made that's part of the reason why it was all buggy and choppy and stuff Make sure you do that, and then you'll be good to go. Uh, so again, you'll want to go to the Discord file, and I'll leave this linked, of course. And you'll want to go here, click that, take you to the website, here we go. And then you'll download that here. And then once you're done with that, uh, then you'll want to go into your folders, make sure also you have everything properly uh, labeled and like organized and stuff. You'll want to go here, and then you'll want to extract the, the files. All right, and then choose your destination. Final mix. I've gone through several different tests, as you can see, to get this right. All right, and then you'll want to go and get your ROM, which again, will need to be uh, the debug. So again, this is why I actually was using it, it was Master Quest there, and here it is. And also, unlike, I wasn't certain if you would have to rename uh, rename your rom or not you don't have to rename it so also if you happen to see where the rom is because again i can't tell you where to get it you know for legal reasons but if you see this and that's the name of it you know you'll be good to go and again also thank you to <laughs> well i can't really say because i don't want to get them in trouble but you know thank you for that tip that you know helped me get this you know who you are all right so again you'll want to extract that whoops Right in emulators, final mix, and then you'll want to go right in there into there. And then after that, we're good to go for all that. So we can go straight into here, and then we'll pull up the uh, OTR GUI, and then we'll just get the ROM. And like yesterday's video, I will go ahead and speed things up. That was not the right place. Let's go up. I will speed this up because it still will take a while. So let's just go here. And there we go. See you soon. All right, and we are good to go. So after that, you can just hit the X here and close that out. And that's it. Uh, one last thing before we actually get this started is that, okay, actually, I think you actually have to run the game once before it happens because I'm not seeing it right now. So let's go ahead and get my controller set up now. Let that get connected. Because uh, for me, at least, for some reason, it, uh, or at least for, um, for, for my PC, I need to change the graphics renderer because it's automatically set to OpenGL, but because of my AMD graphics card, I need to have it set to DirectX. So once actually... The game starts up then i'll actually have the uh ini file that i can actually use to edit so we gotta start the game at least once and you'll see what i mean by that as to why i need to change it so as you can see it's still buggy and choppy and that is something that i was really confused by all right but at, but before you know there was uh the gra the textures weren't completely coming in before but they are now at least so that was part of the good news so we'll close this out now and yeah there we go now we have this configuration setting file we'll open that up and again if it's sdl if you want to use opengl but if you don't want to use uh opengl and we use direct x you just leave it blank and then you can just save it and close it out
and as you can see it's night and day <laughs> i mean seriously it's a whole lot better we're running it perfectly now yep and now it's just completely smooth yep and it it's great. I mean, I can still go in back in and like change the resolution and stuff. Um, let's go ahead and get started here. And the controller automatically was picked up again. Also, I you might have to configure it depending on what controller you're using. I'm using a uh, Xbox uh, controller, so it's picking up well. But yeah, and I'll just end it right here because you don't need to just see all this and it's going to be get the video's going to get too long. So again, thank you very much uh, for the support yesterday. Thank you for your comments, for questions. And if you have any questions for this video, just leave them and I will answer them to the best of my ability. So until next time, everyone, I am Zeracon signing off. Have a good one.